Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. It's a new month, so it's time for a new coloring guide and color and chat video. I'm going to be using this brand new Heffy Doodle Perfect Blend stamp set. This is currently available for pre-order and the full release comes out next week, but I wanted to share how I colored some of these different types of tea and coffee or hot chocolate. Um, and pumpkin spice latte mugs and coffee cups. So the two mugs in the set do not have a drink line, but it's really easy to add one. I'm using a fine line pen that is um, does not bleed with alcohol markers, and I just followed the edge of my cup inside of my mug and created a curved line so it looks like there is a liquid inside. So really great if you want empty mugs or if you want to... Um, have a drink inside. Again, very easy to add. So I'm starting with coloring with my red coffee cup. This is my coffee cup inspired by Starbucks Christmas coffee um, cups that they come out every year. And I'm gonna follow my guide from DR2 to DR1. I bring back DR2 to add a little bit of shadow. And then I will move on to the candy cane, which is also in DRs. I start with DR1, and then I actually bring out a coral color, CR5, because I want my candy cane to look a little more um, like reddish orange, more so than a deep red compared to my Christmas cup. And I apologize now that this coloring guide is a little chaotic. These images were quite large for how many colors I use. So I really hope these guides are helpful and not confusing. But if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment here or on my blog or on Instagram. And I will do my best to help clarify anything. I'm moving on to my tea bag and I'm using my RBs, which is more of a red brown to color this in. I wanted it to look kind of like a vintage looking tea tag and then I will move on to coloring the white parts of my cup. So for this I'm using brown gray one or BG one and I'm coloring in the lid of my coffee cup as well as my little dollop of whipped cream and I will also color in the whites of my candy cane. And finally, I'm going to color in my mug. I originally did a purple tea mug on my coloring guide, but I'm actually going to do this more rounded bottom one. It doesn't really matter, but the sample that I made, I didn't realize that I colored this one, this rounded mug purple. And so I just wanted to color it how my sample looks um, when I'm done. I was watching you know, Netflix at the same time. So I didn't realize that I had switched my mugs um, when creating my sample card. And so for the mug, I wanted to go with a really deep kind of jewel tone purple. So I'm using my PLs and I'm doing four, three, and two to color them in. I'm going for kind of what I would think would be a nice fall kind of inspired colors. So like my deep reds, deep purple, and the deep kind of teal green, um, but then also very easily adaptable for Christmas. Like I said, I have my Christmas tree mug here, and then that um, kind of jade green um, is going to be the color of my other mug. So you can use these to inspire fall cups of tea or pumpkin spice lattes, as well as Christmas in like a peppermint mocha or hot chocolate. So now I'm going to add in some final touches to my tea. I start coloring the wrong mug here and I realize it, but it doesn't really matter because my other drink is going to be a darker brown and I'm going to cover it up, no problem. And for that I'm using my MBs and I'm going to be using 3, 2, and 1 to color in my kind of milky tea. And then I completely forget to color the... Uh, band or the sleeve around my coffee mug and I'll realize it later it's not a big deal but um, I totally skipped it and I'm adding just some little small dots like I like to do to my images just to give it a little bit of character and once I go back through with the darkest colors you can see I have them in that fourth line of images I will move on to my next coloring guide so for the next set of drinks this was kind of my supposed to be Christmas, but like I said, I colored in my tea and purple uh, different than my sample. So I was going for that was more the Christmas. So that was supposed to be a green cup with 
um, hot chocolate or a mocha inside. And then these were more of my fall inspired drinks. So what was supposed to be a cup of tea and cinnamon along with the pumpkin spice latte, but it doesn't really matter. This guide goes together however you'd like it to go. So I am coloring in now my green mug and I'm using JG's. I'm using JG7, 5, and 3 to color this in. They have a very like holly green color. It's really one of my favorites to color in for Christmas items. So I thought having a Christmas hot chocolate, peppermint, mocha, you know, mug would be really pretty. So wanted to share some colors you could use to create this for yourself. And when I'm done coloring in the mug, I will color in with a darker brown. And for those, for the drink inside, I'm using EB4 and 3. Again, wanting to create a hot cocoa or peppermint mocha look. And then I will jump over to the pumpkin spice latte and the cinnamon stick that you can see is currently missing from my um, images to color. I, I, like I said, this time of coloring around this month is a little bit chaotic, but I hope they're still useful. So I'm gonna now move on to the pumpkin spice latte. I start off with a TN, I do a TN five, and that's just to create more of a brown base. And then I'm gonna go over with BOs. I do three and two to bring in the orange of the pumpkin. And I thought that looked really like a pumpkin spice latte and it's got me craving one for sure. And then I'm going to create a, it's supposed to be a white mug, but I thought I would darken it up a little bit. So I'm doing BG2 and one. So if you would prefer to have more of a white mug, you can color it just like I did the whipped cream and just use BG1 and do some subtle highlights and or low lights, I guess in this sense, some subtle shadows um, instead of coloring it more of an off-white color with the BGs. And here is where I'm going to color in my sleeve. And I realized I even forgot to write down the number of one of the mug sleeves. So I am about to start coloring and I realized, oh, I forgot the mug of my red um, cup. <laughs> so I'm using MBs for my sleeve. So my lighter cup with my pumpkin spice latte starts with MB4 and then I bring out some of that shadow using MB3 and then completely cover it with MB2. And then my red mug, I actually only used two colors. I used MB2 and MB1. So depending on the look you're going for, if you want that cardboard mug look, I would definitely go with the uh, deeper brown scheme where this is more of a light um, a coffee sleeve. So again, MB2 and now MB1 to completely cover it. And then this is when I realized when I was going to start coloring in my cinnamon stick that I didn't have one. So I grab my stamp real quick. I'm trying to find a good place to stamp it. I usually stamp with a Misty so I can stamp twice and get some nice clean stamped lines, which I didn't get for the cinnamon stick, but that's okay. It's just an example. And I am using my TNs for this. Again, I am going to start with TN6, 5, and then 4 to create a cinnamon stick. I thought these looked like pretty good colors for what I would imagine um, my little cinnamon stick to look like and what cinnamon sticks look like to me. And then again, bringing out the darkest colors that I've used to add a little bit of stippling and dots just to bring some character and... Um, some texture to my images so they don't look super plain. I really like this look and like I said earlier if this isn't you know your jam you can definitely skip this part. Once I'm all done adding in my little dots throughout my images I'm going to show you how cute they are. I love how they turned out and then I'm going to grab my white gel pen and we're just going to add some highlights. So as I'm adding highlights, I realize this really hasn't been a much of a chat this month. I use so many different colors and so many images that I really wanted to explain everything along the way. But it is now September, which is so crazy how fast this year is flying by. School's back in session. Girl Scouts has started. I have one more work trip to go and a few trips for fun that I'm excited to go to, like the Kindred Stamps crop. And um, just going to have some fun. I'm really excited.
So here is my example with the new Warm Hugs Jumbo Die Set. I did some distressing and stamped the cute little coffee bean around the bottom of my background. And um, I think it turned out really sweet with all those fun little different types of coffee cups and mugs. So I had someone ask how I stored my coloring guides. So I'm just going through and showing you how many I've created so far. I can't believe how long I've been doing this. And I'm just using a slimline pocket sleeve that I got from Whimsy Stamps um, last year when I was on the design team. And as you can see, it's getting pretty full. I'm going to have to rethink my storage here. Uh, maybe next month I will upgrade and show you what I have changed to. Here's a final look at my sample card. I hope you enjoyed this coloring video and that you try these guides out for yourself. Don't forget you can download them from my blog or you can save them on Instagram. You can find all of those links down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like, and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.